Okay, we're going to try a parabola question now, and the uh, it's question six. We'll do the first three questions. Okay, we've got a parabola here, f of x equals minus ax squared plus bx plus 6. Well, we get quite a bit of information from this. First, we know it's a parabola. This negative means it's upside down, so it's going to be this kind of shape. We've got the shape of it, and hey, we've got something else. If x is 0, this would become nothing. y would equal 6. So we have the y-intercept. We're looking at it. We've got a point, 0 and 6. They also tell us that f passes through the point 6, 0 and minus 2, 0. So we've got x-intercepts. Well, if we go down here and it says uh, we're supposed to show that a is a half and b is 2, that we know what those numbers are. Well, we can't just substitute in points and show that it works. That, that just isn't the way you have to do it. You have to actually um, show algebraically that it's true. Because you're given x-intercepts, what we're going to do is take that one x-intercept of 6 and put it in for x1 and put the x-intercept of minus 2 and put it in here. And that's going to give us a formula. That's how we're going to do it. And we're going to use 0 and 6. Let's see how it, what it looks like. We take the 6 and put it in there. We take the minus 2 and it becomes plus 2 here. And now we've got a formula. But hey, we also have a y-intercept that we know is 0 and 6. So we can put x is 0 and y is 6. If we do that, that becomes nothing. There's minus 12 times minus a is positive 12a. If we divide by 12, we get a is a half. Well, that's the big thing. We just figured it out. a is 1 half. So now all you do is take that half. It's minus a half times, and then you multiply this out. Do FOIL on it. x squared um x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus 12. You get this x squared minus 4x minus 12. And what you do is when you multiply it out, you're going to get your answer. Minus a half x squared plus 2x and then plus 6. Okay, there you go. That's it. Now we've got what B is. B is 2. We knew C was 6 and A is minus a half. Okay, the next problem we're going to figure out, the question is, find the coordinates of the turning point. How can we get the top of the parabola? Well, there's a formula. I think it's minus B over 2A. Minus B over 2a. Well, we've got b is 2, so there's minus b over 2 times a. That is a formula for giving you the x-coordinate of the turning point. Well, those twos cancel. Minus a half, you tip in times. Those two negatives make a positive. You get x equals 2, and that's the x-coordinate of the turning point. Well, how can we figure out what y is? Just take this 2 and put it back in here. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 squared is 4, minus a half times 4 is minus 2, 10 minus 2 is 8. So 2 and 8 is your um, turning point. You know, you can type this in your calculator and put a 2 for x in there and a bracket and a 2 in there, and you'll get 8 out on your calculator when you do it. Or you can do it in your head if, you, if, if you're good at um, doing numbers in your head. Okay, the one more question here. It says, for which, uh, sorry, sketch the, clearly sketch the F. Well, we've got all this information now. We have the axis of symmetry, X equals minus 2. I like to put that in first, that dotted line. We know the turning point, the top, is 2 and 8. We know that it goes through 6. We know that it goes, um, we've got the, um, we know that we've got the X-intercepts of minus 2 and positive 6. Well, that's enough. There's the x-intercepts, there's the y-intercept, there's the turning point, there's the axis of symmetry, and there's all your marks for graphing this function. So we'll do the next uh, couple of uh, few questions uh, in the next video.